tonight i want to talk to us about us i i i i have to title it having done all having done all to stand having done all to stand there's a scripture in isaiah from isaiah 36 from isaiah 36 there's this the king of the empire of assyria at the time came against Ezekiah, came against the children of israel set up sent words of threat brought fear to the land brought fear to the government of the day, to the king on the throne. The king at the time was Ezekiah. Everybody was in fear because of Sennacherib. Sennacherib was the king of Assyria. Assyria was the biggest empire at the time, the reigning empire, and wanted the king of Israel wanted Ezekiah and the children of Israel to be paying taxes to him. He threatened them and he discredited God. He threatened them, he discredited God. So there was so much fear in the land. He spoke against Jehovah God. He ridicules the king. Where is your faith? Who do you think you are depending on? Who do you think can save you from my hands? Coronavirus has come to threaten us. To threaten the whole earth. The earth is in... The heart has the same problem. We have a unique problem right now all over the earth. And people are threatened with fear. But not many know what to do. What did Ezekiah do? Ezekiah sent word to the prophet of the day. And then he prayed. I read Isaiah 37. I really have no note. I'm just going to speak to you from my heart. You know, Isaiah 37. I read from verse 20. Let me just read verse 20 first. Fear than fear. This is the time for us to lift up our voice. This is the time for us to band together in agreement, in faith, and lift up our voice to the Almighty God, just like Ezekiah did. If you look at that same scripture in verse 21, Isaiah 37, verse 21, the Bible says, Then Isaiah, who was the prophet of the day, then Isaiah, the son of Amos, sent to Ezekiah, saying, Thus says the Lord God of Israel, Because you have prayed to me against Sennacherib, king of Assyria, this is the word which the Lord has spoken concerning him. Because we pray to him, the Bible says, Call upon me. The Lord said in Jeremiah 33, Call upon me. Call. I will answer you. I will show you things you have not known before. Call upon me. In the times of difficulties, what we need to do is to call. What we need to do is to call upon God. Our God still sits on the throne. He still rules in the affairs of men. He said, because you have prayed, this is the time to pray more than ever before. This is the time to worship more than ever before. Like I said on Sunday, 
We may not gather together in person, but then we have the opportunity to connect through the airwaves, through the internet, in the comfort of our homes, and still connect our hearts together and spend time together in the word of God and in prayer. Nobody can say right now, oh, I'm so busy. Busy doing what? The only thing you can be busy doing right now is either praying, meditating on the word, and connecting with other believers, encouraging one another. That is what we can be busy doing right now. Almost everybody is working from home. Even essential services are being reduced. Brethren, he said, because you are prayed. Now I'm going to read that scripture because I'm going somewhere with it before my time is up. He said in verse, uh, uh, verse 22, I'll continue to read from verse 22 downwards and I might stop and speak. This is the word which the Lord has spoken concerning him. That is concerning the one that is threatening you, that is threatening me. The virgin of the daughter, the virgin daughters of Zion has despised you, laughed you to scorn. The daughter of Jerusalem has shaken her head behind your back, whom you have reproached and blasphemed, against whom you have raised your voice and lifted up your eyes on high, against the Holy One of Israel. By your servants you have reproached the Lord and said, by the multitude of my chariots, I have come up to the height of the mountains, to the limit of Lebanon. I will cut down its tall cedars and its choice cypress trees. I will enter its father's height to its fruitful forest. I have dug and drunk water. With the soles of my feet, I have dried up all the brooks of defense. Did you not hear long ago how I made from ancient times that I formed it? Now I have brought it to pass that you should be for crushing fortified cities into heaps of ruins. Therefore, their inhabitants had little power. They were dismayed and confounded. They were as grass of the field and the green herb, as the grass of the house on the housetops, and grain blighted before it's grown. But I know your dwelling place. You're going out and you're coming in and your rage against me because your rage against me and your tumult have come up to my ears. Therefore, I will put my hook in your nose and my bridle in your, in your lips and I will turn you back by the way you came. This is the same word I am declaring concerning coronavirus is going to go by the same way that it came because the God Almighty is going to pull it off of your life, of my life, of our doorposts, of our families, of our society, of the nations of the earth in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I want you to go downwards and I want you to see the, 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 the key points here. I hope it will make sense to your heart. Hallelujah. The Bible says in verse 31, And the remnant who have escaped of the house of Judah shall again take root downward. It seems as if we are scattered right now. It seems as if everybody to your tent, O Israel, no, there's still a God that rules in the affairs of men. He says we are still going to take root downward. We are still going to take root downward. We are still going to be established. The church of Jesus Christ, is still going to be established. The people of Christ is still going to be established. The nations of the world, they are still going to be established and bear fruit upward. Now I'm speaking to the church. The church is still going to bear fruit upward. Anyone giving up on God right now, anyone giving up on Christ, giving up on the church right now, does not know that we are still going to take root downward. It seems as if we have been uprooted, but we are still going to take root downward and we are going to bear fruit upward. I prophesy to everyone under the sound of my voice, 
that in the name of Jesus, you are going to bear, you are going to take root downward and you are going to bear fruit upward. Even in the midst of this calamity, God is going to establish you firmly in his will, in his word, in his plan, in his purpose, in the mighty name of Jesus. You will remain unshaken. You will remain unshaken. I will remain unshaken in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. He says, for out of Jerusalem shall go a remnant, and those who escape from Mount Zion, the zeal of the Lord of hosts will do this. Hallelujah. Therefore, says the Lord concerning the king of Assyria, he shall not come into this city. Coronavirus shall not come into your home. It shall not come into this city. It shall not ravage any more the church. It shall not ravage our land anymore. In the mighty name of Jesus, we lift up our voice tonight and cry to God for mercy and cry to God for divine intervention. I remember this morning, I asked us to pray that we pray to God for divine intervention, for God to intervene. And he says, in the mighty name of Jesus, evil shall not come near you, near me. He says, he shall not come into this city, that which you have been afraid of. He shall not come into your household. He shall not come into your body. He shall not come into your family. He shall not come into the body of Christ in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. He says, no, shoot an arrow there. He will not even shoot an arrow there because nobody under the sound of my voice will feel anything other than being secured under the mighty name of Jesus, under the precious blood of Jesus. He says, no, come before it with shield. Let me read it through so you understand. He shall not come into this city, nor shoot an arrow there, nor come before it with shield nor build a siege and siege mount against it by the way he came by that way by the way that he came by the same shall he return by the way he came suddenly came suddenly disappear coronavirus came suddenly suddenly it shall disappear it's not because of any vaccine but because we are standing on the word of god hallelujah the bible says and it shall not come into this city i said this city is your home is my home is our destiny it shall not come into our home says the lord Oh, Makabana Bosaporiander Bosoti. Listen to me. Look at verse 35. Look at verse 35. For I will defend this city to save it. God will defend your life to save it. God will defend your family to save them. God will defend your destiny to save them. He says, For my own sake and for my servant David's sake, for the sake of Jesus Christ. Ah, the one who shed his blood for us. God will defend you. God will defend the nations of the world against this coronavirus. In the mighty name of Jesus, we declare today as we lift up our voice. Lift up your voice wherever you are and pray that enough is enough. Oh Lord God, let mercy reign. Let your hand be involved in the nations of the world. Remember what he said. In Exodus 11 and verse 7, that not even a dog will back, not even a dog will back against you, against me. He said, because he will make sure that there is a distinction between us and darkness, between us and evil, between us and coronavirus in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The Bible made me to understand in Ephesians chapter 6. Listen to me. It says, finally, Ephesians 6, I read from verse 10. It says, finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord. Ezekiah, his strength was in the Lord. Many churches are looking up to God now. We must join together in looking up to God. We must join together standing strong in the Lord. Those who are fearful cannot stand strong in the Lord. 
They will give in. You cannot give in. This is not the time to give in. This is not the time to be afraid. Oh, maybe somebody is coughing. Somebody is sneezing. Maybe you feel some strange things. No, it's not coronavirus because it's not coming into your home. It's not coming into my home. It's not touching your family. It's not touching your children. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. He said, finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Be strong in the Lord. Why do you need to be strong in the Lord? Because there are things that want you to be weak. There are things that have come to weaken you. Coronavirus has come to weaken the economy. It has come to weaken the result. Even the government, have, they, they, they don't even know what they are doing right now. Hallelujah. But God will give them wisdom in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. But he says to you and to me, let us be strong in the Lord. Ezekiah was strong in the Lord. Every time he faced challenge, he always turned to the Almighty God. And the Almighty God never failed him. When you turn to God, he will not fail you. He said, put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand. That you may be able to stand. We have talked and preached on this armor of God. We should put it on that we may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. This is one of the gimmicks of the devil. Coronavirus is one of the instruments of Satan from the pits of hell. He says that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood. This is an unseen enemy. An unseen enemy that seems to be stronger than us. But is never stronger than our God. Is never stronger than the blood of Jesus. Is never stronger than the name of Jesus. Is never stronger than our God, our King, Jehovah Himself, the Almighty Redeemer. Is never stronger than the one who sits on the throne and rules in the affairs of man. He says, But we wrestle against principalities. Coronavirus is a principality. That is who we wrestle against. And in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we overcome coronavirus in the mighty name of Jesus against powers. This power has rendered other powers powerless. Everybody is running elter skelter, wondering what to do. And God is watching us. But then remember what Ezekiah did. He prayed. He prayed. And the prophet said, because you prayed. Because you prayed, not because you feared, or because you are, you are waiting on somebody to bring a solution. He said, because you prayed, church, we need to pray. We need to pray when it is time to pray. When we call for prayers, connect and pray. Connect to pray. He said, because you prayed. He answered, because you prayed. When you pray, God will answer. When we pray, God will answer. Hallelujah. He says, against the rulers of the darkness of this age, against spiritual hosts of wickedness. This is all a description of coronavirus. Hallelujah. He says, take, 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 therefore, take up the whole armor of God that you may be able to withstand in the evil day. There's no doubt. That this is the evil day. This, this, these are evil days. These are not the, these are evil days that we need to stand firm on the authority of the word of God. These are evil days that we need to look inwards and look up to the Almighty God and do that which is right and do that which the Lord has commanded us to do. I shared with us the other day, it's not new, all this that is going on in town today, oh, we should be quarantined, it's a good step, because God had commanded it before, and it is being commanded again, Isaiah 26, 20, come my people, enter your chambers, Shut your door behind you because you enter your chambers now and you shut your door behind you doesn't mean you do nothing. It means shut your door behind you 
and pray. In those days, there was no internet. When the children of Israel were slaying the lamb and putting the blood on the lintel of their doorposts, one person was told who told the other and told the other and told the other and they spread the word. But now we have a technology that can connect all of us together. And when we are under a corporate anointing, under the auspices of the Holy Spirit of God, God will hear our cry. God will hear our cry. Hallelujah. He says, shut your doors behind you. Hide yourselves as it were. For a little moment, a little moment, why? Because the way he came, he will go. The way he came, the way coronavirus came, that's the way it will go. Normalcy will return. But when normalcy return, what will be our new normal? Will our new normal be the things we used to do where we are not aware of God? Or we are going to get closer and closer to God more than ever before. When the dust settles and you and I are still standing, our families are standing, the church of God is standing, are we still going to be calling on God? Are we going to take our relationship with Christ serious? Or are we just going to be flagrant and... and, and, and and just go back, snap back like, like, like an elastic, back to the normal life without regard to the things of God. God is creating an awareness, a turn where you and I will look up to him more than ever before. More than ever before. He says he will not come into your home. Shut the door behind you for a little moment until the indignation is passed. This indignation will pass. You will not die. No member of your family will die. In the mighty name of Jesus, and we are praying for families who are mourning their loved ones because of this coronavirus, that God will comfort them and God will give them everlasting victory through this they will turn to the they will turn to Jehovah God of heaven and he will hear them look unto them look unto you look unto me with mercy in the mighty name of Jesus Christ brethren this is the word of the lord for you this is the word of the lord for us at this moment yesterday we cried to god for mercy let's keep crying to god for mercy on behalf of the earth. The earth is in trouble. Nations are in trouble. Let's call upon God. Ezekiah prayed. Let me remind you the prayer of Ezekiah one more time and see what he said. In Isaiah 37 and verse 21. Isaiah 37 verse 20 and verse 20. Isaiah 37 verse 20. Now therefore, O Lord, our God, save us from his hand, that all the kingdoms of the earth may know. God, intervene, that the world may know that you are the Lord. Isn't that what he gave us in, in, in Exodus 11 and verse 7? That is what he said, and we are standing on that. Brethren, I'm standing on that word, because that's the word from God. And I passed it on to us. He says, but against none of the children of Israel. We are the spiritual Israelites. We are children of covenant. Against none of the children of Israel shall a dog move its tongue. Against man or beast that you may know that the Lord does make a difference. That we may know, that the whole world may know that God is the God that makes a difference. Everyone who has snared against God now will have to turn and call upon the name of God. Now will have to turn and call upon the name of Jesus because that's the only name where we find salvation. That's the only name where we find deliverance. Brethren, in closing tonight, let us take instructions from the CDC very, very importantly 
take it seriously. Let's clean our environment. Let's do our due diligence. Wash your hands. Tell your children to wash their hands repeatedly. Clean surfaces as many times as you can. And I want to announce to you, everyone under the sound of my voice, you are in Kansas City or members of Wisdom Assembly. If there's anything the church can do for you, please do not hesitate to contact us. You can contact me directly. You can contact me directly. Maybe you, you need some supplies you don't have. We will share what we have with you in this time. We will share whatever we have. If you need anything that we can share, we can share food, we can share uh, toiletries, whatever we have, we will share with you. As long as we have it, we will share with you. Hallelujah. But make sure you call. And there are other agencies out there that have been set up to help at this time. If you need help, call. I will, I will help. Uh, we will help on behalf of Wisdom Assembly as much as we can. And if not, we will direct you to the right agencies that can help you. This is not the time to be timid. This is not the time to, 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 to think you are on your own. No, don't be on your own. This is the time for us to band together and call upon the name of the Lord. The Lord said to Ezekiah, He shall not come into your city. I turn that city into your home. Coronavirus will not enter your home because the blood of Jesus Christ is on the lintel of your doorpost. The blood of Jesus Christ is on the lintel of your windows. The blood of Jesus Christ is a covering over your life. In Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen. Tomorrow morning, please let us join together as we lift up our voice in prayer. Call, connect, 5.30 a.m. Central Standard Time in Jesus' mighty name. And I want to encourage you to give, give, give. Don't abandon your church at this time. Give because your church too will not abandon you. The church is not going anywhere. We are going to be, be establishing roots and we are going to be bearing great fruits in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Do your due diligence. Go on our website. Give via our church app, wisdomassembly.org. Give and let God be glorified in your life. Give your tithe. Release your tithe. Give your offerings as I am also going to do tonight on behalf of my family. Let us do it and don't turn our back on our covenant responsibilities. The Lord bless you all. Please check our website. If you're on Facebook Live, the information is on the screen that you can use. Those who are on the phone line, go on our website. You have been, you have been in Wisdom Assembly. Uh, you, know, you know how you can give very, very easy. If you have not been in Wisdom Assembly before, please visit our website and click donate. Wisdomassembly.org www.wisdomassembly.org May the Lord bless you all. Remember, please, if there's any need, if there's anything we can do to help, please do not hesitate to let us know. We are still here to help. I'm here to help. I'm here to encourage. I'm here to pray with you. Feel free to call me. Feel free to send an email. You can go on our website, send an email. The email will come to me. We will pray with you, counsel with you, or if it's physical things, we will do the best we can. And God bless you richly in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. I look forward to joining together with us as we, as we pray tomorrow morning in Jesus' mighty name. Whatever you have given, may the Lord bless you. May the Lord favor you. May the Lord increase you. May the Lord open doors of favor, even in these perilous times, that God will shield you and open doors of favor for you and your family. God bless you and good night. I cover every life in the blood of Jesus Christ, in Jesus' name. Remember, coronavirus will not come near your dwelling, in Jesus' name. Amen.